agenda for endorsement submitted two memoranda. Uh, the first <coughs> was for the termination and reaward of the 49 kilometer section of uh, Abaji to Kotonkafi, which is part of the Abuja Lokoja Highway. Uh, and it was awarded uh, in favor of Mrs. Geld uh, for 56.175 billion naira. Uh, and hopefully this should facilitate the completion of that uh, critical highway which started in 2006. Um, the second memo was for the revision of the contract sum of the Afon Aboto or your boundary road in Quara. Um, the Revision was by the sum of 251,530,000 naira, which revised the contract sum from 3 billion and 60 million to 3 billion and 311 million uh, to enable the contractor uh, make provision for drains to replace unsuitable material and to reconstruct damaged shoulders of the road as well as accommodate some variation in prices. The memo was also approved. Thank you. <clears throat> Abuja to Kefi, um, we, the reason we're there in the very first place to build the road is because uh, it has become insufficient to manage the large traffic of commuters, and uh, <clears throat> we understand the inconvenience that uh, commuters feel uh, trying to use that road, and uh, we, we appeal to them to bear with us. It's a challenge for us. I think almost about uh, 15 to 20,000 vehicles, if not more, use that corridor now almost on a daily basis. We wish we could shut it down so that we can have uninterrupted construction uh, uh, places. But unfortunately, that's not possible. So while we manage traffic, people have to drive through a construction site we're building. So please bear with us. We will do the best that we can to minimize the inconvenience. And when the road is finished, I'm sure that the current inconvenience will be, would have been well worth the wait and the experience. Uh, with regards to the NMPC road, I think people should also remember there have been all sorts of very wild allegations in the public space by uh, people about whom I will comment later because there's a, there's a parliamentary investigation on that matter at the moment. But I think what people should remember first is that this initiative started very late last year Construction companies traditionally, if you know the industry, go on break between the mid of December and return in the mid of January. They have to remobilize. Uh, they have to order supplies, laterite, stones, sand, and all what they need. So work has really just started perhaps in February. But our zona directors were around all the sites and the story is different from site to site. In some places, earthworks have started, are just started. In some places, uh, cement stabilization is going on. In some places, they are constructing drains. In some places, they've started to lay asphalt. So it's, it's, it's at different places where working, the result we intend to deliver is over several hundred kilometers of roads covering those 21 roads. So, and that won't happen overnight. So people should bear with us and see us do our work and watch us do our work. Uh, and should you want to visit the sites, let me know if you can coordinate it. I will arrange for a visit so that you can actually go and see and report. But work is going on.
this one one. This one because, it. because because it is so so. Is it on now? Yeah. It's lying that is causing the problem. Okay, it's lying that is causing the problem. So, uh, as I said, there's a parliamentary investigation. The National Assembly has taken up this matter. We appeared yesterday. Those who made the allegations that we have diverted the money were invited, but they didn't show up. So Parliament has decided to um, adjourn to next week. But as I said, come on. <laughs> uh, let's wait until Parliament hears it. I don't want to preempt, preempt their work. I think it's only fair. Thank you. Who said that the federal government has withdrawn? That's what you have assumed. And so if you want, if you want, uh, I, 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 I perhaps understand that maybe you live in that area. So, 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 but let us not let our emotions get ahead of us. I, I, can respond to some things from memory. I can't respond to everything from memory. None of the memoranda that I presented today has anything to do with Abuja to Kefi. But the road is for an expansion contract all the way to Makodi. So there's no basis to assume that it has stopped. Let me also be clear that this loan for that project was awarded and concluded well before 2015, before I became minister. And it was a decision just to expand, I think, five kilometers between uh, Abuja and Mararaba to 10 lanes. That was the thinking at the time and that it will solve the construction problem. Whether that would happen or not is another matter when we finish building it. Because the size of the highway is only part of the solution. How people behave, how they drive, whether they obey traffic laws is another matter entirely. Beyond that, then the construction of the dual carriageway and the dualization of the single carriageway through Kefi to uh, uh, what's this Lafia will continue. And if you go all the way to Lafia, as I have been, you will see that work is going on on different sections in the uh, Nasarawa part of it, and also the Benue side. So I have gone to see all of that. So not just your own side, although your side is very important too. Well, I will use my own words, not your own words about bogus amounts. I will use my own words. I was the one who actually invited the Nasarawa state government to help us assess compensation. Because land is a state matter. And the right of way that allows our contractor to work is essentially a land matter. And our teams have worked together. They've presented reports to me periodically, and we are paying compensation across the Nasarawa side and across the Benue side. We are also aware of people who have gone to court. We are aware of people who have made unjustified claims in court trying to stop the work from going on. So these are the problems that the public don't see. These are the problems we manage. We are also aware of beneficiaries of compensation who have written to us to say, oh, I got only 2,000 Naira, but I heard that 50 million, 100 million, whatever amount was paid to our attorney 
So we have had meetings with the attorneys saying, we won't pay to you again. So working with Nassau Iowa State Government, we have said each beneficiary of the compensation should go and open an account, no matter how small it is. We will pay directly to the account. And if they then owe their lawyers or their agents, that's a third party relationship we don't want to have anything to do with. They can settle them when we go. So we are on top of some of these, these issues. And there are daily administration uh, matters that we, we deal with and resolve from time to time.